The State Board of Education is giving IPS a second chance to run its own schools. The state of Indiana took over Emma Donnan, Emmerich Manuel, and Thomas Carr House schools almost a decade ago, but now IPS will run them in, again in time for the new school year. Tonight at 11, Rich Van Wyke shows us what's in store for the 1,400 students and their parents. The Emma Donnan Elementary and Middle School, as well as Manuel High School, will stay open. IPS will close Howe Community High School, forcing 600 students to choose new schools. It's like family to these kids. Yeah. These kids built relationships with these teachers. Rebecca Wheeler's daughter is a sophomore. I was devastated. Like, now I have to go to a new school, new environment, and it's terrifying. All three schools have struggled for more than a decade. After the state took over the three IPS family schools in 2011, it picked Charter Schools USA to run the schools and turn them around. The most recent state-issued report cards available gave Emma Donnan Elementary an A, the middle school a C, Manual High School a C, and Howe High School an F. As the State Board of Education considered renewing the agreement, IPS argued to get the schools back. At Wednesday's meeting, many speakers sided with Charter Schools USA. The data doesn't lie. If you're good at what you do, you're allowed to continue. Company CEO Sherry Haig called the board's decision heartbreaking. This decision marks an unprecedented move backward for the most at-risk children in Indianapolis, she said in a prepared statement. IPS will manage the schools with help from three local charter school organizations, a new approach that will hopefully provide new opportunities for inner city kids. Rich Van White, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Tonight, IPS is promising to meet with families, students, and community members to make that transition easier.